It's not loading me down with your teenage mm. fantasies about making the world safe while I stay home and bake. It made me crazy while we were married. Okay, and that was just sex, right? You got in the shower with me. Did you push me away? You're right. This has to stop. I just kept hoping that we could remain close. I mean, we've always been each other's best friend. I want to stay close. But we can't. It's too complicated. We can't stay inside the lines. Just because we're splitting, Johnny, doesn't mean I'm going to stop worrying about you or caring what happens to you. Good. Hey, come here. You sure we're doing the right thing? I'm sure. Hmm? Because a lot of people stay together behind less than what we got going, Lori. That's not good enough. Look, I don't want to have this conversation every time you get horny. It's not going to work out for us. My mistake. I just think it would be easier on both of us if we made a clean break. Okay. I mean, I still have feelings for you, and I know you still have feelings for me. That's right. So I think it would be easier if we just left each other alone. If it really was no big deal for you, it was for me. And I want you to know that I'm sorry it happened. Well, you should be. And I hope you die for it and go to hell. And if there is no hell, I hope you suffer on your way to death. My hope is that your last living sensation be that of a steel rod being shoved repeatedly up your insides so that it batters your heart and punctures your stomach. Oh, no, it's, it's the kiss of death. What do you mean? 